In this video, I wanted to show how I was able to go from polar unit vectors to Cartesian unit vectors. And we derived how we were able to find x, s hat and phi hat in an early video. So, um, I th we can do this by a simple algebra and trying to manipulate the equations to solve for one of these variables. So we have two equations and we have two unknowns, sort of, to, so to speak. So we're probably going to imply the system of equations. Um, so we want to multiply um, each of the components by sine phi or each of the unit vector, or one unit vector by sine phi and one by cosine phi to see if anything cancels or if we can solve for something. So sine phi s hat will give us cosine phi x hat plus sine phi y hat multiplied by sine phi. And on the Cartesian we can distribute this in and we'll get cosine phi sine phi is plus uh, sine phi squared x hat, I mean y hat. And this is equal to sine phi s hat. And so for the phi hat, we're going to multiply it by cosine. Cosine phi phi hat is equal to sine phi x hat plus cosine y hat. cosine phi. And now we're going to add these two equations together and see if something is able to cancel. But we can distribute this in here. We'll get sine phi cosine phi plus cosine squared phi. Don't forget the hats. Don't forget that. So if we add these two, two together, we'll get sine phi s hat plus cosine phi hat. We're just doing system equations. And it's equal to these. This term, I don't know if you can see this, but I will highlight it. This term is going to cancel with this term. And so it's going to, this is going to go away, go away. And so then we're left with sine of phi plus cosine squared of phi. And both of these are being multiplied by so that by y hat. So that works out really nicely because if we use our trig identities, we'll see that um, sine squared by plus cosine squared by is equal to one. So we get one phi hat is equal to uh, y hat is equal to sine phi s hat plus cosine phi hat. And so we have solved maybe this equation for um, y hat. And we do the same thing to find our x hat. So instead of multiplying um, s hat by sine phi, we're going to multiply by cosine phi. So 
cosine phi of s hat gives us cosine phi x hat plus sine phi y hat all multiplied by cosine cosine phi distribute this in we have cosine squared phi in the x hat direction sine cosine phi y hat and then instead of multiplying uh, phi hat by cosine we're going to multiply it by sine and so we have sine phi phi hat is now going to be equal to negative sine phi x hat plus cosine by y hat multiplied by sine phi and we'll get negative sine squared phi in the x hat direction plus cosine phi sine phi in the y direction. The parentheses just to make sure I can see everything properly. So we'll see that not everything cancels is pretty as we've seen before. So let's try to make it so that this term will be positive and this term is negative so that it'll cancel. So now we have, uh, we'll multiply by, we'll just negate everything. So this becomes negative sine phi. And this becomes positive. This becomes negative. And so now we have something that will cancel. So this term will cancel with this term. Zero, zero. And then we'll be left with, we'll be left with cosine phi s hat minus sine phi phi hat is equal to oop, got, got the little x hat oh, plus cosine squared phi plus sine squared phi and these are all in the x direction and using our trig identity again we can say that x hat is equal to cosine phi s hat minus sine phi phi hat. So we were able to solve for Um, our Cartesian unit vectors from polar unit vectors by manipulating the equations um, by multiplying sine or cosine and then using a system of equations. So when we added everything together, so here is addition, and here we did some addition, and we were able to see. We were able to see that 
y hat is equal to sine sine phi x s hat plus cosine phi phi hat and that x hat is equal to cosine phi s hat plus or minus p. Yep, cosine phi s hat minus sine phi phi hat. Just checking, making sure this is all correct. Yes. 